studio today, we have a beautiful lady, Betty, who is going to break down for us what healthy eating or health related to food looks like. Today, we are also marking the World Health Day, of which is very interesting because I understand that it has to be identified as one particular disease or illness that is addressed each year, if I'm not wrong. But let me leave it to Betty to actually break it down for us and also question how we're living and what we are feeding ourselves. Betty Karibu Sana. Thank you very much. Please say hello to our viewers and introduce yourself. So hello our viewers, my name is Betty Okere. I am a resident dietitian at Kilimani Diabetes and Endocrine Center. Mm -hmm. And my interest is usually on non-communicable diseases with diabetes being yes. at the top of the issue. Mm -hmm. And of course, all matters related food. I know people who tell me we are the dietitians are people who scare you out of eating. That's not really the definition. <laughs> yes. But of course, we talk about food a lot. Yes. Yes. Great. It's good to know you're a dietitian and you're going to break it down for us to know what exactly other than being accused of scaring <laughs> people of the food and I think of course personally the older I'm growing the more aware I am on how food completely and directly uh, affects your health yes. in every way manner and possible um, things even sometimes when you look at diseases like cancer uh, you know, it's almost all environmental. It's what you put in your body. Diabetes is also something very close to me, unfortunately, because my mom suffers from it. And if, when I realized what lifestyle she led before she got diagnosed, I'm like, eh, Maureen? And trust me, it's hitting home and being a mom as well. So it's such a privilege to have somebody here who will call out or rather call us out on what we're doing. And uh, call us speed a speed. Exactly, <laughs> as we educate our audience. So uh, could you like just tell us a bit about how you ended up doing what you're doing and exactly the things that you do? I first started out when I went to university. I really wanted to be a doctor. Ah. And then of course, you just know the Kenyan story, miss the mark. Yes. And then I figured out, do, do I still want to be a nurse? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I still want to be a doctor, but yes. I didn't know how to go into it. So uh -huh. when I went to uni, I just bumped into nutrition as a course, yes. did it mm. and loved it. Mm -hmm. But as I started working, mm -hmm. I worked a lot with a lady who was doing lifestyle disease management yes. Yes. and diabetes. Mm -hmm. Contrary to all the stuff I had learned in school, yes. I realized with diabetes, yes. there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. Today you come in very discouraged, you come in with very high sugars, yes. you come in imagining that the worst has happened mm -hmm. to you, probably mm -hmm. you have to be on all these medications including yes. insulin, you don't understand yes. and your sugars are very high and sometimes mm. we as a medical practitioner mm. sometimes scare you yeah. out of it because we look yeah. at the numbers mm. and we're like, wait a second, who did you come with? Did you come alone? <laughs> and you're thinking, I drove myself here, I walked yeah. here. Yes. And so many sessions down the line, mm -hmm. you see the life of this person changing. Nice. You see them living a normal life mm -hmm. as if the disease was not even yes, there. And yes. that made me want to know so much more about mm -hmm. it. And I worked for one particular lady yes. who used to get these journals from America, American mm -hmm. Diabetes Association mm -hmm. journals. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know what they were all about. Yes. But I love reading. Mm -hmm. So every time I'd read, I'd see these researches yes. where they're looking at one thing and it is leading to another mm. and this is the conclusion mm. and this is the benefit they're seeing from this study. Yes. I said, this is interesting. So what did I do? After my undergraduate decided to study diabetes mm -hmm. as a course right. on its own. Oh. And so it comes from, yes, I'm telling you about what to eat, mm -hmm. but do I understand yes. what makes you be diabetic in yes. the first place? Yes. How different would be that grandma's diabetes mm -hmm. from the diabetes that yes. is in this young child yes. probably even just three months yes, old yes. or this teenager what mm -hmm. what are their needs mm. and that just made me want to learn more and more and more and yes. more and yes it, it, it's bringing so much joy mm. but also as I delve into that it, it hits me back home why, why is the world health organization setting aside a specific day in the year yes. to actually talk about um, health. Yes. And every year, as you rightly mm -hmm. said, we have themes, different themes. Yes. And this year's theme is mm -hmm. basically health as a right. Wow. 
-huh. All right? Mm -hmm. and, and I know in our constitution, mm -hmm. I think it should be Article 43, yes. where health is actually a yes, right that yes. all of us should yes, have yes. and should enjoy. Mm -hmm. But how do you think mm -hmm. your right to good health or even that good food would be curtailed? We have people mm -hmm. selling extremely processed foods, yes. extremely processed, yes. and that is what we want to associate with. Right. Because we think yes. for you to be able to afford this, uh -huh. then you belong to a certain class, yes. and that makes you, you know, look cool. wealthy, yes. it makes you cool. Yes. But that's, that's, that's the wrong information that yes. we have. So we are not being given the mm. right information, mm. right? Mm. So you, you're looking at non-communicable diseases being what is causing the highest number of deaths, up to 74% of all global deaths. Yes. Forget accidents. Yes, yes, accidents cause death. Yes. But when you look at non-communicable diseases, mm -hmm. which are predominantly brought about as a result of yes. poor lifestyle yes. Um, choices, yes. Yes. then the number is just too huge. What? And And you're looking at cardiovascular diseases, so diseases of the heart, the mm. hypertension, the mm. high cholesterol and all that, mm -hmm. contributing to even more than 60% of all those yes, deaths. And yes. then of course there's the cancer yes. and the diabetes coming mm. in a third or a fourth. Mm. How do we ensure that we are not raising a generation that will have the lifespan shortened? Absolutely. How, how are we doing mm. that? So I go back to the issue of the food. When we go to the supermarket, mm. what, what do we look at? We first of all avoid that area that has fresh vegetables because yes. they look like, you know, something our moms back at home would You look be like eating. you're suffering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and most of us say, mm -hmm. I ate so much vegetables when we were poor and we didn't have anything. So now that I, I have money, I'm going literally to eat my money. Oh my but goodness. we are eating our money yeah. in the wrong way. Yes. We have a tragedy mm -hmm. and especially, I'll speak about Kenya because that's yes. well known to me and yes. most of Africa. Yes. We have modifiable risk factors mm -hmm. that cause non-communicable diseases, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Diseases of the lifestyle. Yes. Now, to say they are modifiable mm -hmm. essentially means mm -hmm. we can do something about it uh -huh. to ensure that it does mm -hmm. not land us into yes, problem. Yes. Tobacco use, yes, all right? Yes. And now we are becoming cool, so we are no longer smoking tobacco as we know it in cigarettes. We are vaping. We are vaping. Yes. Yeah. And, and shisha. Uh, and shisha. Mm -hmm. So there is extreme use of tobacco. Yes. Alcohol consumption. Mm -hmm. People have turned to alcohol yes. for comfort. Yes. Now what does alcohol do to you? Mm. It comes with the extra calories, yeah. but no nutrients. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. So somebody says, you know, I don't even eat nowadays. I only eat one meal a day. But the amount of calories you have gotten from your alcohol yeah. is so much more. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Or then somebody says, I'm on a juice diet. <laughs> 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 but they're just consuming. You know, you, yeah, you have all these extra calories, calories that you don't yes. need. And because you will not quantify yes, that yes. as food, mm -hmm. because most of us quantify food as solid. Yes. So you won't quantify that as yeah, food. Yeah. What will happen? You will have consumed so much calories, yeah. but you'll still go ahead and eat. Exactly. Yes. Especially with liquids. People really underestimate exactly. the calories in liquids. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. You, you know, you... Because you, even your brain is not coordinating yes. what is happening. It's just, it's like you're pouring into a pipe and it's yeah, going into yeah, the stomach. Yeah. So really that coordination is not even yeah. there. The other tragedy is um, unhealthy eating behaviors. So again, sometimes we want to say, I am eating healthy. After all, I didn't buy anything processed. Uh, but what is the rationale yeah. of saying I will not eat bread? Yeah. And then I will eat a plate full of my sweet potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> the maths is not mathing. Yes, <laughs> so yes. we have to also look at how are we organizing our plate mm. so that all the nutrients that we require yes, are yes, represented, yes, yes. but in proportions that represent what you do. Mm -hmm. If my work and your work is basically talking to clients every day from morning to evening, my activities are actually very limited. Yes. So unless you make that extra effort, mm. then you may not require as much energy as somebody else who is in exactly. a manual job exactly. will require. So yeah. you not say, mm. I am eating my ugali or I'm eating my githeri, mm. so it is natural, it has not been overly processed, yeah. I will overdo it. Yeah. And the fourth thing, which is a modifiable risk factor that is putting us into this problem of non-communicable mm -hmm. diseases, mm -hmm. is um, sedentary lifestyle. Ah, yes, we don't move anymore. I think when we all complain about traffic, yeah. it is valid yeah. and it is a good complaint. Yeah. But sometimes I think we ask too much of the government. Yeah. Mm. Because you can just decide three days in a week, mm -hmm. 
I Can will walk. walk. Yeah. All right? Mm. One, you will save the money. Yeah. Two, you will save yourself. You'll actually be living a healthy life. Mm -hmm. So then someone says, no, but you know, I will sweat and all that. <laughs> In some places in this country, mm. and especially Nairobi, mm. you'll see white people going to work. They have a rucksack, they yeah. have their suit, mm. but they're wearing sport shoes. Yeah. And they're walking. Yeah. They can actually afford to yes. be in those cars. Yes. Yes. Probably better than us. Yes. But they, they're walking. Yeah. Or then we say, well, when I come out of work, I will walk. Yes. And then people are walking in doll shoes. <laughs> 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 Two days of that walking, you you, your, your feet are your hurting, yeah. they are aching, yes. your back can't take it. Yes. And then you say, no, it's difficult. Yes. Or someone says, I don't have the time to go to the gym. There is a quote in, in nutrition that we use, mm -hmm. and we say, mm -hmm. if you cannot make time for healthy living, you You'll will make, make time, time for, for illness. illness. And that money that you're saving, yes. you will bring it back to yes, the hospital. Yes. So you, have to, you just have to make you the have choice. Balance, yeah. Right? Yes. But um, so what can actually be done? What mm -hmm. can actually be done? Because mm -hmm. then all this processed food is coming. Why is it coming? Yes. There is um, increased urbanization and globalization. Mm -hmm. So we want to look like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, we have all these delivery apps Yes. At the touch of a button, and I think sometimes it, uh, it's a tragedy. I'm very guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie. I won't even sit here and lie. I'm, I'm sure yeah. after this you're going to look in your ways and say, I'll, uh, this yeah, is changing. It has to go. Right? Yeah. Because 10 o'clock, mm. what is a pizza delivery bike yeah. doing at a gate? Yeah. It is definitely carrying pizza. Yeah. What, yeah. 10 o'clock. Mm. Really, what happened to just waking up and there is this it's nice boiled maize? Yes that you will eat and mm. even the chewing mm -hmm. because you'll take time your yeah. brain will be it's telling your stomach yes, you know what we've yeah, had enough yeah, yeah, yeah. this other junk food that we're eating mm. due to urbanization yes. and globalization yes. they are big on taste mm. they're big on taste yeah but not nutrition. big on energy yes but they're not nutritious yeah look look at the kids and and yeah. you said you have kids so look at kids you give them this junk food mm. they'll eat it and very fast and they'll be very happy, but yeah. they usually finish it. Exactly. When you give them the real the food, real food yeah. they struggle to finish. Yeah, so all kinds of excuses. And I sit with my kids, suddenly, oh, I want to go to the bathroom. Yes. Oh, I want to, I don't know to do what. Yes. So um, we, have, uh, ha we have a rule now. Before you come to have your dinner, go to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> do all your business because you're not leaving that you're table. You're not leaving that table. But you're right. If it's pizza or something else, my goodness, they sniff it. They will finish it. Yes. But now, mm -hmm. after just sniffing it and it disappears, yeah. it takes less than 10 minutes, yeah. these are the same children who 20 minutes later yeah. are looking for something else to graze on. Yeah. Which doesn't happen mm. even with just a small portion of real food yeah. on their plate because mm -hmm. they'll actually stay full for long yeah. because what this food has no fiber it's just dependent on sugar mm. high saturated yes. fats and all that is not useful to the body sure. so again the communication from yes. the brain to the yes. gut yes. is we are yes. still hungry yes. so feed me more feed mm -hmm. me more mm -hmm. and that now creates a new level of normal That's correct. so there is globalization mm. but also let us look at how this food has been marketed yeah. to yes. us yes I am yet to see somebody marketing sweet potatoes or uh, yeah. arrow roots, doma. Yeah. Yeah. It's not being marketed. Mm. But we have all these flashy, beautiful colored foods. Mm. And you know, it appeals to the eyes. Yeah. It appeals to the young people, yeah. for instance. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. because they don't have that time, mm -hmm. They lack the time, <laughs> yeah. and you said if you're not creating time for healthy eating, yeah, you'll, you'll create, create time, for, time illness. for illness. So they don't have that time, and mm -hmm. so they go for what? Mm -hmm. What is easy, what is yeah. available, what they can dial and, yes. and, and it yes. is available. Yes. Also, mm -hmm. when it comes to what we are being given, we don't have the right information on the go. We don't have the right information on yeah. the go. Yeah. So I will go and buy a product. Clearly on the front it is labeled Low, no sugar added. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So already the brain knows. Oh, yeah. there's no sugar added. Yeah. You're not sitting back to say when what they say. What does that really mean? Exactly. When yes. they say no sugar added. Yes. Which sugar are they talking yes. about? Yes. All right. Yes. yes. Because if you go to the nutrition fact panel yeah. Yeah. and then you look at you look at what they have put there as the ingredients. Number one, the labeling is so tiny. Mm. You're straining to look yeah. at it. You can't even see. Yeah. And most of us are not trained or mm. taught on mm. how to read a food label. Exactly. Right? Because, I mean, if you look at it, you see, I don't know, sucrose, they're not telling you it's sugar. Y you don't even you know, know what that sucrose yeah. is. Or they say 
sugar syrup. Yes. You're thinking, oh well, the last time I checked my sugar in the house was in crystals. Yeah. So this one that is syrup, maybe it, it is be must be better. Yeah. Or then you're looking at it, maybe now because it is syrup, what is the thing that I know as being syrup? It is yeah. honey. So you're equating yes. honey to good yes. health. Yes. And another thing is if mm -hmm. I take a teaspoon of honey, mm -hmm. I take a teaspoon of sugar, yes. white or brown, yep. each of those will give me five grams That's of carbohydrates. Exactly. So it is your body does not know how to differentiate yeah. and say, yeah. this is sugar from honey, mm. this is sugar. Mm. Uh, and warn to us if we yes. get the real honey. Yes. Sometimes we actually have molasses mm. that we've put oh, it's so sad a bee in it true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. to make it yeah. look like it's honey. Yeah. Yeah. All right? And so even when they say carbohydrates, mm. then they have broken it down. So carbohydrates are 50 grams, of which sugars are 40 grams. All right? So you have only said 50 grams. Mm. You have also not looked at this 50 grams. Yes. It is contained it in what great? quantity yes. of the exactly. food that I'm going to eat. Yes. Because it could mm. be 50 grams mm -hmm. in 100 ml yes. and your glass is 300 ml. And actually, it's notorious for doing that per 100 grams. Yes. But you forgot this is 325 grams. Exactly. Wow. So that would be yes. 50 yes. times 3 yes. and the 25 probably about 7 grams. Yes. So how much sugar have you actually oh taken in? Goodness, yeah. right? mm -hmm. And because it is liquid most of the time, yes, you don't think yes. about it. Or mm -hmm. we package, uh, uh, cereals are notorious for mm -hmm. that, <coughs> breakfast cereals. Yes. So it's packaged in a way that it tells you it has uh, great ingredients, dried fruits and all that. So what happens when you dry fruits? <laughs> the concentration yes. of the fructose yes. is actually mm. something yes, else. Yes. All right. Yes. And probably they've also added that That's sugar so syrup. Yeah. So at the end of the day, were you better off with just your grain without any additions or these other additions yeah. to make it healthy? Yeah. And always fear mm. that aisle in the supermarket where everything is very colorful yeah. and in packets, all right? Because sometimes we even have aisles which they've labeled diabetic foods. Yeah, or now healthy Or healthy, something. you know. Yeah. That's the aisle you should yeah. run away from. Yeah. Unless probably it's written gluten-free. And even if it's written yeah. gluten-free, yeah. one is to find out because, of course, there are people who have intolerance to gluten and yes. all that. Yes. So yes, check that it doesn't contain gluten. Mm. However, the devil is in the details. Yeah. What else is contained? Exactly. Does it have sufficient mm -hmm. fiber? Mm -hmm. Can we have policies where the food manufacturers are not allowed to have excess um, sugar, free mm -hmm. sugar mm -hmm. in the food? Yeah. And if you pass a certain amount, mm -hmm. you're actually supposed to be taxed. Yeah. You know, taxation yeah, on yeah, sugar, yeah. free sugars. Yeah. Because that's... that's that will make the product expensive mm. and will make us not be able to access it. Exactly. Young people, for example, yeah. you prefer to go for junk because you can access it. Yeah. It is KFC. available. Sorry, we're not supposed to name <laughs> <laughs> and shame, but it's, it's, I hear it's you. It's available. Hear you. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So you, you, you want to have a tax attached to it, higher taxation for sugar, sweetened beverages and, and foods yes. so that it is not acceptable, mm. acceptable uh, to the people. Yes. And then what times are these mm. foods being advertised? Mm -hmm. Not when your child has refused to eat ugali and managu yeah. is when they bring this nice advertisement <laughs> about this drink. And then yeah. even us as parents, mm. when that happens and a child says, mm. I don't want to eat. Yeah. Oh, mommy, daddy. And you have all these options. Children are very bright. They're very intelligent. Very. They will play with you. Yeah. They will psychologically play you. Yeah. And you will give them what they want. It's true. So they get used to that. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and now it's a tragedy we are dealing with obesity yeah, yeah. in children. In children, right? Yes. Yeah. So you have a very obese child mm -hmm. whose nutrition is just almost zero. So the, the child looks big. Mm -hmm. So yeah. again, we think that's healthy. healthy. But no. their, their micronutrients, mm -hmm. you know, the vitamins, mm -hmm. the, the, the iron, yes. the minerals, yes. they're actually deficient in mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. you have yes. double burden. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So let us look at what do we do. Also, the front of package mm -hmm. um, lab labeling. Mm. Why are we insisting on having a small package? Yeah. Maybe mm. the people who package and label their foods mm -hmm. correctly, mm -hmm. like what has been done in other countries, yeah. should now have you know a tax relief yeah. so that you're encouraged. If I'm exactly. going to get a tax relief yeah. for selling the right thing and yeah. labeling it correctly. Yeah. And even, I know, I know countries like Canada and mm -hmm. Australia, mm -hmm. And a bit of Germany, mm -hmm. they they have it in such a way that you're able to tell, even if you cannot be able to read, yeah. they call it the traffic light oh. labeling system. Yes, yes, yes. So they'll tell you mm -hmm. this food contains this much energy. Yeah, yeah. 
in this survey, mm -hmm. therefore they put it green. Yes. Or if it has uh, excess, yes. they will put it as yes. orange red, or, or red. red. Yes. So by the time you're going to pick it mm. from the traffic light signs, yes. green is good, yes. red is bad. Yes. You make an informed decision. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they are not allowed to get to a certain level. For mm, example, mm. soda outside this country, yes. and, and even our neighbors yes. in the East Africa yes. have said that soda in our country is too sweet. Ah. Extremely sweet. Even yeah. the juices, the ones mm. that we purport to be healthy, yes. they are too sweet, too sweet. Because there is extra mm. free sugars that mm. is in them. Mm. So again, it is the education. So World Health Day mm. is just one day yes. in a year. Yes. But can this information mm. Mm be resounding yes. in every home, yes. in every school, yes. in every college. Mm. Let us not wait for when we are sick mm. to start doing the right exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah? Yes. You, you, you'll sit somewhere and say, you know, I have a relative who has diabetes. Mm. I, have, I know a friend who has diabetes. Mm. They are luckier than you. You know why? Yeah. They have already had a diagnosis yes. and they know what to do. Exactly. And they will do their best to do yes, it yes. because they don't want to be sick. Yes. Us who are on the waiting mm. list, do not know what to do. Yeah. We think it is very far away from us. Yeah. And even us as healthcare providers, we are culprits. Yeah. Because we imagine it's a person sitting across the across table yeah. who has a problem. Yeah. So at the end of the day, mm. we are waiting until it is too late. If you are not teaching your children mm. right now mm. to eat vegetables, yeah. how do you expect that now when they are teenagers, mm. you'll give them vegetables? Sure. They, they won't take it. I agree. They won't take it. I agree. I agree, and uh, we're going to talk more about, you know, now the reality on the ground, like uh, who do you receive across, and that hope you mentioned that indeed you've seen some of your patients going through the red to the green, yes. <laughs> and that's our new label, uh, and so we're going to take a very short break, and um, we're going to now just break it down nicely so that we can push the message try this and not that of course in a kenyan relatable way yes great <laughs> definitely all right i'm with betty and today we are talking about the world health day and the theme is a right to health or you everyone deserves a right to health and indeed this is something that you find in our constitution it is indeed a right everybody should have and let's rethink what are we doing wrong and are you going to create time for that illness or are you going to actually be healthy now? I hope you're challenged. Don't go away. We'll be right back.